Okay, today we want to solve for impedance in a AC inductive reactive cir circuit. So our symbol for impedance is a Z, and our unit of measure for that would be in an ohms. So our formula for impedance is R squared plus, now when you have, you have to pay attention which one of these is higher, the inductor or the capacitor. The one that is higher you will be subtracting the lesser number from that. So we have 24 minus 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and work that, and that's 14 squared plus our resistance, which is 12 squared. 12 squared is 144 plus our 196 which are 14 squared. We'll add those up, get 340. The square root of 340 18.43 ohms. Remember I said the unit of measure for impedance is also ohms, just like with resistance. Okay? So now if you wanted to work some Ohm's law with that, and you wanted to find out your total current in your circuit, you would use your voltage, which is 10 volts of your supply, and you would divide that by your resistance, which is 18, or your impedance in this case, I'm sorry, 18.43 ohms. <coughs> so 10 divided by 18.43 equals 0.54 amps. So that would be your current. Now you could do the same thing if you were looking for your total voltage. E total would equal, E is equal to I times in this case, Z for impedance, your I is 0.54 amps, and your ohms are 18.43 ohms. So you multiply that out, and you come up with 10 volts. So that's how you also can work your circuit backwards to prove that everything is correct.